Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello. And I want to take a moment to wish everybody a very happy new year and a wonderful 2021. I hope that it is better by far than the last year. And I really have some high hopes for this year. So I'm super excited to announce our new deck for the new year and a new month. It is January the 4th. It is a Monday. And we are playing with the Da Vinci Tarot. So this is a tarot deck that does come with a really neat little book. And I'm going to kind of deviate a little bit this month because not only does this have the cards in it, but it also has some like questions to ask yourself that go along with the cards. Kind of a little bit of exploration, I guess we could say. So we'll be looking at those. I don't expect to memorize them, so I'm probably going to flip into the book when the cards come up. I'll do the usual card thing, and then I will kind of take a peek at these exploration questions and see what they've got for us. I think for those who are maybe, you know, starting journaling in 2021 and all that kind of stuff, maybe this will help. I don't know. But yes, the Da Vinci Tarot is created by... A, let's see, a, there's a whole bunch of people. Mark McElroy is the one that wrote the book for it, which it's actually a really neat little book, kind of a cross between the little tiny books that come inside the box and like a big crazy book like we've seen for some of our other ones that are super in-depth. It does have the spreads for the um, cards, some interesting ones, which I am probably going to cover today in our very first Tarot Cafe of the year. Which again, if you've forgotten or never knew in the first place, we do Tarot Cafe on Mondays. It is on the Discord channel. And if you're super interested, please come join us. We have a lot of fun and we talk about tarot and we also kind of get a little funny and weird sometimes. But at any rate, the art is by Iasen Guslev. And I'm sure I totally obliterated that name. So I'm just going to show you the last names on there so that you can see. And I will try to remember to put them in the description as well. So without further ado, though, let's see what card we have for this first reading of the new year. Let's hope it's a good one, shall we? All right. All right. I like it. It's a good one. The other thing I really like about these cards is they have multiple languages on them. So if you're a bit of a multilinguist like me, you can kind of get in some enjoyment and practice on different words, uh, basic words in the tarot. And that I think is really cool. So here we go. We have the two of wands. And the two of wands does depict one of da Vinci's uh, greater, I guess, in the sense of like, he always seems to make this character a little more effeminate. So possibly this was meant to be Magdalene, but I think it's supposed to be um, St. John. So I'm not positive on that. So we'll maybe we'll take a look in the book and see a little bit more detail on that as well. So starting out with what the Two of Wands means, all by itself without all the Da Vinci stuff and everything else connected to it, um, Two of Wands is about kind of contemplation and assessment. So I think this is a great card for our first Monday of the year. And, you know, very early in the new year when people are still trying to figure out what they're going to do for January and New Year's resolutions. This is about assessing what you did in the past and applying it to the future. So if you take a moment and kind of, it's a bit of a balancing act, which twos typically are. So I'll go back into that. Twos are typically coming to balance. So finding either the black and white of an issue or balancing the positives and the negatives, the pros and cons. And wands are about creativity and contemplation and the arts sort of thing. They are about education and things like that, but usually it's a little bit more on the creative side of things. So you've got your creativity and your thought processes and all of those kinds of things, as well as the aspect of, well, what did I do that worked? What didn't work? What can I apply? Let's see how this year is going to go. I love this as our first card for the new year. I think it's absolutely excellent. So now let's move into the kind of 
fun and new and exciting things with this card. So I do like that there is the contemplation in there. It does have the water in the background. So let's see. Let's find the two of wands. Oh, maybe. Okay. This is going to take me a second. I really wish that I could, like, bookmark certain pages on these. Okay. Here we go. The two of wands. Yep. All about that needing a break and reflecting on your achievements sort of thing of the new year. The exploration questions for this one. So maybe this is something that you can journal or, I don't know, just contemplate for the day or the week, however you want to look at it. But it asks, what argument or obsession do you need to drop to make life a little better for you, for your own good? What do you need to, like, not obsess over anymore or not fuss over anymore? The second thing is, how long is it since you've taken a break to evaluate your own progress? So I think that that's a really great question, too. Like, when was the last time you took a break and said, hey, I've been doing this thing for months now, but it's really not getting me anywhere? Or I, my schedule has been like this, but it's so tight and I don't have room for anything else. So that's that's pretty cool, too. And then... How might taking a break actually speed your progress? I, I love that because it's true. Sometimes, you know, much like when you take a break at the end of the year, end of the season kind of thing, that's the same thing with this card. So I love that it is all about reflection today and it's all about how do we reconnect with kind of ourselves and the goals that we have or might have been planning for the new year and then we realize as we hit the first Monday, we're like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have packed my life so full of resolutions. Or maybe you've gotten the year off and you're like, hey, I've already broken like three of my resolutions and I'm not really sure if I can keep with these. But it is about knowing yourself. So the figure and their contemplation and this sort of looking down and away is about finding what's inside and what works. So once again, balance, rest, contemplation, reassess, and then wind it up. And hopefully we get something a little more action for tomorrow's card. I really hope so. But either way, I really like this as our first card. I realize maybe it's not coming out as nice. Oh, there we go. That's a little brighter on this side. I'll try to get some good pictures of this to post as well. So I am going to attempt to do more on other social media to promote that I've been doing this because I've been doing this for months now and I realize that maybe more people need to actually see it. So other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful start to the week and a wonderful start to the new year. As always, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!